What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful Memorial Day. It is Memorial Day over in the state, so if you do not celebrate it, hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. But we are back playing some more Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping back onto that ranked double ladder for Series 12. We'll bring you guys another absolute banger of a team. We're rocking out with a Life Orb Mewtwo team that features Kingler, Zoroark, Regidraco, and Kyogre. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button. Join the Jeans community. It really only takes two seconds of your guys' time. And it really goes a long way in helping me grow as a content creator. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Greg. Greg, huge shout out to you for leaving this team on my Twitter page. I know I've been getting a lot of comments as of recently to be like, yo, Jeans, I got rental codes for you. Where do I send it? Link down in the description below to my Twitter. Go hit that follow button. DM me over there. Tweet at me. However you guys want to get me the teams like i said get me the teams over on twitter so i've been using a lot of fan teams they've been sending me over on twitter but before we get started in today's team preview i want to go over question of the day because i've been watching stranger things for as you guys know it came out friday beginning of memorial day weekend and I, I grinded it i got one more episode left i'm gonna be probably watching it after i've recorded today's video because it is so good but question of the day is what tv shows are some of your favorites because yeah stranger thing has definitely been up there for me absolutely loving it so good cannot wait to finish it up and plus they have like two more episodes for stranger things 4 to come out i think within the next month and they're basically like movies like the one's like an hour 45 and the other one's gonna be like two and a half hours so it's gonna be crazy it is definitely gonna be crazy but let's get started here with today's team preview starting off in that top left corner we have the one and only kingler big crab boy over here with hyper cutter and then with Conberry. he's basically here for a little bit of support he's got crab hammer to do some big damage brick break to break some screens alex switch to protect ally pokemon and then wide guard to protect our team from double hitting moves Second Pokemon on squad is going to be Mewtwo. I haven't used this Pokemon in forever. We got Unnerve alongside with Life Orb. Then we're rocking Psy Shock, Flamethrower, Thunder, and then we got Trick Room for a little bit of Speed Control. Middle left is going to be our Illusion Zora. With that Focus Sash, we got Night Days, Flamethrower, Hyper Voice, and you turn pretty cool Pokemon. Can definitely throw some people off and uh, get some work done in the battle. Fourth Pokemon on squad is a great special attacker. It's going to be Reggie Drago over here with the Dragon Mauls ability alongside with the Dragon Fang. So his Dragon Damage is going to be through the roof. We got Ancient Power for a coverage move, Draco Meteor for our huge heavy single hitting stab move, Dragon Energy, which is like Water Spout, but a Dragon move, and then Protect for our fourth and final move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be a Pokemon, we're probably going to be Dynamaxing a lot. It's going to be Kyogre over here. We got Drizzle, Mystic Water, Water Spout, Protect, Ice Beam, Thunder, which is a fairly normal moveset for any Kyogre. Then our final Pokemon is going to be this lovely support Indeedy that pairs perfectly with that Mewtwo due to the Psychic Surge ability. We got Psychic Surge, Psychic Seeds, Expanded Force, Follow Me, Helping Hand, and Healing Wish. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Kingler Zoro Mewtwo team. Let's get rolling here, ladies and gentlemen. Hopping into battle number one, and we're going up against a pretty cool team. He's got the Zacian, he's got the ground on alongside with the Venusaur, and then he has some good support mods with the Moongus, Meowstic, and last but not least, he's got Nihilego. I could pop the Trick Room, but everybody knows a Moongus and Trick Room is OP. It just drops spores left and right, and it's just game over from that. But how should we go into this one? How should we play it? He might lead the Meowstic, which could be pretty good. I could go Indeedy. Just kind of counteract that and set terrain. I could go Indeedy into Mewtwo, which wouldn't be bad. But at the same time, then it's just like, oh, that's that Zassian. Which Zassian could definitely do me dirty, but we can kind of just go for the Follow Me's. So I'm kind of with just rolling into this Pokemon right here. And maybe Dynamax in turn one. Bringing Kyogre in the back end. And then last but not least, we could go Zoroark. Zoroark is type nice. Zoroark is type nice. Or I can go Kingler. Nah, I really don't want Kingler. I really do not want Kingler. I said we go Zoroark and then Kyogre. I'm digging that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But you guys know I've been talking about it in recent videos. Your boy's bringing you guys some discount codes. We got 5% off Acquire, 10% off Rogue Energy. Rogue Energy's got some cool flavors, and they also got hydration flavors. If you're not into all the caffeine and all that good stuff, links down in the description below. And Acquire is Short Circuit Gaming. It's a merchandise store over there. Definitely go check them out. 5% off and 10% off Rogue Energy using code Short Circuit. Link is down in the description below. Definitely go check it out. Definitely go pick up some stuff. But he's going to end up leading Meowstic alongside with Venusaur. And I'm, I'm really fine with this. I'm really fine with this. I could go into a follow me, which, but I don't think I have to, right? I don't think I have to. Actually, I might. I might. Just in case you want to go for the swap into the Sleep Powder, I am going to follow me the shot. And I am going to go into a big old Dynamax here with Mewtwo, right? Not a bad first turn. Not a bad first turn, right? Follow me a shot. I'm liking it. And then Dynamax going straight into a Max Mindstorm. I do dig it. I do dig it. I do dig the Max Mindstorm. I'm with it all day. Let's see what he does. Because I think he might swap the Meowstic. Due to the Surge. Like, the Surge just takes control of this Meowstic, which is really, really good. But he ends up with Venusaur. Who's he going to pop into right here? He's going to pop into Zacian? 
Amoongus is gonna come out here. Okay, so Amoongus comes out. How you doing, Amoongi? Amoongus, how you doing? Isn't he sane typing as Venusaur? Right? I believe so. So this might this might just rip on him. I'm with the Dynamax all day. I didn't even actually have the Dynamax, but I was just like, dude, if Venusaur's gonna, I I just thought like in the back of my head he might go into Groudon, and have Venusaur. So I was like, I have to get in for this Venusaur. So, but it's totally fine. Dynamax is me too. Such a good Pokemon. Look at this lovely little dude. Look at this lovely little dude. We're gonna drop a nice selfie. Follow me. And I wonder what Meowstic's doing. I wonder what Meowstic's doing. I don't even know what he's doing. We go for a max Mindstorm here. Getting off some big damage. Take out Amoongus. Awesome. Strong start to the battle. Let's go. Bad swap for him. Bad swap for him. What's he doing? What's he doing? We could definitely could have just expanded force and went to like a side shock. But Meowstic's just gonna drop a Dark Pulse. And like I said, this Psychic Surge really does Meow sick dirty because all of its moves are based off of like Prankster, Fake Out, all that stuff. And Psychic Surge just cancels out it right away. So great lead for us. We're rolling out strong. So we know he has Venus from the back line. And, and then if I had to guess, he's probably rocking Groudon. Who's he gonna, who's he gonna go into now, right? Yeah, Groudon's gonna come out here and he's probably gonna Dynamax it, right? But definitely Dynamax it. And I'm just gonna follow me out with Ndidi up until what's it called happens. Up until it dies and then just roll into Kyogre. Right, this gotta be my play. Follow me. Bang, and then we could just go into a Mindstorm. Mindstorm's probably our best bet, right? Or I could start getting after this uh, Meowstic, which I think I'm going to do. I'm going to start getting after this Meowstic. If he wants to swap into Venusaur with that slot, that's fine. Or he just cancels battle. I'll take that all day. Battle number one, perfect. Now we are talking, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. Look at the team we're going up against. Off meta squad versus off meta squad. I absolutely love it. But yo, that first battle definitely was very quick. Got my Mewtwo out there. Got my Ndidi out there. It was GG's from there. Just Dynamax, Max Mindster, took out Amoongus, and then we, we had the upper hand from there. But this guy's got a cool team. Palkia, Solgaleo, Raikou, Eldegoss, and then he's rocking Obstagoon and Grimmy Grim. All right, how am I playing this one? How is Jeans playing this one? Could definitely go into Zoro, because we're being too shabby. I could lead a Zoro. I kind of like leading Zoro. kind of like leading Zoro. You know what? I'm going to lead the Zoro and fake it out and act like it's, uh, it's a Mewtwo. Do I act like it's a Mewtwo? Then I could U-turn out in a Mewtwo. I couldn't make it, could make it like that. I could definitely do that. Hmm. Could go Kyogre. Kyogre ain't too shabby here either. Kyogre can definitely get some work done. Right off the rip. Yeah, let's go Kyogre. I am going to make this uh, Zoruk a, uh, a Mewtwo. And then I'm just going to bring Kingler in the back end alongside with this. Do I even bring Kingler? I don't know. I mean, Kingler's not bad with that, with that weather. With that weather with a crab hammer? Kind of dig it, but I probably should have went into a Pokemon like uh, Reggie Draco. Let's see who this guy leads. Let's see who this guy leads. Look at go back to back. Yeah, like I said, that first battle was it was instantaneously. Legit snap of the finger. One turn. It was one turn, right? Yeah, we Dynamax. He swapped. We we bopped. And then he uh he canceled. So we take those wins. We like those wins. He's gonna throw out his first two, which is gonna be Sogalio and Raikou. Okay, that's not too bad. And we're gonna go into Mewtwo. Well, Mewtwo and Ogre. Mewtwo and Ogre's gonna poke out here. Okay, I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. They can't go straight into like a night daze. We're going to a night daze, which is looking real lovely. Looking real lovely. Looking real lovely. And I think I'm going to do that. Maybe pop policy and then go into this. Or I could protect. It. Or I could Dynamax. I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm just going to double down to Solgaleo. I think he's a big problem. I think he's definitely a big problem. But yeah, yo, we got my boy Zoro out and about. And he don't even know. He don't even know. He's going to end up with Troll and that's totally fine. He's going to go into who? Who's he going into? Eldegoss. Okay, so Eldegoss is going to poke through. That's not a bad turn for him. Raikou, it could potentially be Rock and Snarl, which is kind of ugly. But I don't mind. I don't mind it. We're going to Dynamax this guy. Swaps into Eldegoss, bro. Eldegoss coming in hot. Wow, I'm surprised he actually swapped that so bad. Oh, that's so good, Leo. Now, I wish I would just went for like a straight water spell. would bring a solid turn, but it is what it is. It is what it is. He still don't know we're rocking my boy. He's going to bulldoze. That's fine. That's fine. He's gonna slow us down a little bit, and now he's gonna he's gonna reveal my boy. Oh no, this thing has a uh, cotton down. Yeah, that's beautiful. He has cotton down. Look at that. Cotton down coming in hot. I love it. Cotton down, dude. That's ridiculous. Look how much our speed's going down. Leave me alone, dude. <laughs> our speed is just dropping. Cotton down coming in hot. Night day's gonna fly out here. How much damage can we do with the night days? Not too bad. Can our, can our guys... Oh, my God, dude. Cotton down. Leave us alone. <laughs> Look how slow we are. <laughs> I got to bring out me too and potentially pop a trick room. <laughs> this is ugly. This is real ugly. Cotton down, dude. Can guys are take this thing out? That would be gorgeous if we can. They might be able to. 
Let's go. Okay, that's a big time KO, but we are so slow right now. Cotton down. Yo, leave me alone. Yo, I gotta see my speed on this. I gotta see my speed. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I think we're minus four. Are we minus four? Are we minus four? Bulldoze? Cotton down. Night days, cotton down. Guys are cotton down. That's four. That is four. That is four. Oh my, wow, that's, that should be illegal. <laughs> that should be illegal. Now he's gonna bring Palkia out and Dynamax Palkia. All right, yo, dude, look at this. What? <laughs> Minus four. Get out my face, dude. Get out my face with that. Get out my face. Okay, uh, from here we could uh, we could U-turn pivot. I'm um, leaning towards just like a night day slap up on you, and then me. Just geyser double down into Raikou. Get rid of Raikou. I'm with it. I'm down to get rid of Raikou. But he's definitely Dynamax into Pal. He, he's definitely Dynamax into Palkia. And I probably should I probably should have U-turned Pivot because Zoroark is just so good up against uh Up against Solgaleo. And okay, never mind, he's gonna go into Solgaleo. So this actually works wonders for us unless it takes out my Zoro. But I'm night dazing right into it. I'm night dazing right into it. So he's gonna Dynamax Palkia. Obviously, Palkia is gonna go first because my Pokemon are minus four. Minus four, and then if I had to guess, I think he takes out my Zorak with the geyser. I think he takes out my Zorak with the geyser, which is kind of annoying, but still. We can get off a nice little uh, geyser onto Superlayer. That could be solid for us. God dang, that is ridiculous. And that could bring out my, my Krabby Boy. Krabby Boy can do some work. So he goes for a Lightning, which we should be able to soak. Oh, that's in the Zorak. You should be able to soak that up, Zorak. You don't. Wow. I thought you were going to be able to soak that up. That could have worked wonders. That could have worked wonders. But no, we don't soak up. He changes terrain. Surprised he went to a, a a lightning there. I'm surprised he went to a lightning there. At this point, I think I'm just gonna ally switch. But uh, yeah, we're gonna rock it through guys. How much damage are we doing here? KO? Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. We love it. So okay, Galio, get on out my game. So now he has two Pokemon left. He has the Palkia, and he has the uh, Raikou. He's kind of scary, and I th I feel like I just have to like wait out for Mewtwo because Mewtwo could be solid. Definitely be solid. Kingler could come out here. I think we have to bring out Kingler. Ally switch, right? We just have to protect Kyogre and just get off turns. Cause my thing here would be like uh I think my thing here is uh if we could turn this into just like us against Palkia, it could be good. So I'm thinking of just like Ally Switch. No, Crab Hammer's not bad, yo. Look at this. Crab Hammer's looking spiffy, but I just think Ally Switch could be my play. Into a geyser and just go after this right. Because if I can get rid of this Raikou and just make it like Palkia versus the rest of my Pokemon, I feel like we have a better shot at winning this. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Yo, I got my boy Krabby out here. Krabby's nice, dude. Krabby over here? I know it's Kingler, but I just like calling him Krabby. But he's nice on the support board. The ally switch and wide guard, two very, very good moves. Two very good support moves. We're going to ally switch here. Let's see what he does here. He's going to go for, oh, you son of a biscuit. A snarl. Snarl comes out here. He's gonna drop my special attack, but I still think we should be fine up against this right. See what he does. He goes for a lightning, and that was supposed to be going after my Krabby. Boy. And Kyogre eats, which is gorgeous. Kyogre eats, which is gorgeous. And now I'm hoping this could still KO. This thing is kind of bulky on special attacking or special defense, but still, it's it's a it's a big old geyser. Yes, yes, huge time KO, dude. Kyogre in the rain, ridiculously strong. Okay, so um, he's gonna go into this. I think I'm just gonna. What do I do here? What do I do? I do have the Wakan Berry. I do have the lovely Wakan Berry. I could protect, but protect wouldn't really do anything. I think I'm just gonna go for a paralyzer. So Thunder into a uh, Crab Hammer. Probably your best bet, right? You know, probably your best bet here. Let's have Mewtwo in the back end, which is great. And he's gonna go for a Lightning over and. Hey, dude, this this should have been the turn we ally switch. Should have been the turn we ally switch, but I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. So as Dynamax turns are over, we can bring out Mewtwo, who is faster than Palkia. It should be faster than Palkia. And we kind of just roll from there. We get off a nice lovely Crab Hammer. Cheaping up some damage. And I think we just have to play the game here. And what I mean by playing the game is like, ally oh, switch with my Crab. With my big Kingler, dude. Because Mewtwo's going to have to clutch it up for us. So I am kind of scared of the what's it called. I'm not going to lie. I am kind of scared of the, uh, of the water move coming out from him. I do big damage because Rain has one more turn, right? Yeah, Rain has one more turn. But still, Psy Shock, type nice. Is it Psy Shock or Psy Strike? I think it's Psy Strike. I kind of want to see. Yeah, Psy Strike. Psy Strike coming out here. And I'm just going to ally switch. 
No need to wide guard. He doesn't have any double hitting moves. I just think I, I have to I have to get in this dude's head with these ally switches. So we're gonna ally switch with the Krabby Boy. He's gonna go next and go into Kingler. Go into Kingler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So good ally switch from us. Great ally switch from us. Cause that's what I was scared of. That is exactly what I was scared of. And it's kind of weird. That is uh Palky outspeed by Mewtwo. He's orb too. And good thing the rain ends. So good thing we were able to dodge that turn. Sasha can come out here. Yo, look at that move. Hey, listen, finish it off. Yo, let's go, Mewtwo. Let's go, Mewtwo. This thing is a beast. This thing is a beast. 2 and 0. Oh. We just guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Let's hop into our third. Look for a perfect. My boy Mewtwo coming in clutch in battle number two. We're hopping into our third and final battle, and we're coming up against some cool off meta Pokemon. About two of them Malwak and Latias. And then he has the Kyogre, Sassy, and normal combo, alongside with Grimmsnarl and Thunderous in theory. All right, can we grab ourselves a perfect record? That would be, that would be, mwah, that would be lovely. That would be lovely. That would be lovely. But uh, how should we go into this one? How should we play? Kingler's not a bad lead here. I do not really mind Kingler due to the wide guard coming out here. Wide guard could definitely be clutch. And I could go here into Kyogre of my own. Not too shabby. That's not too shabby. But then he can also go into Tailwind. I kind of want to just go straight into Mewtwo. I feel like Mewtwo could be good. Because we could pop a Trick Room. And I do not really see him bringing in Malwak. Right? We can get off this trick room. This could be nice. He might bring Latias. Which could definitely be scary. But, um... Hmm. Kyogre obviously has to come in the back end. And then do we get, like, some Reggie Draco loving out here? We could, could get some Reggie Draco loving out here. Which I'm really liking. I'm gonna lock it in. I'm gonna lock it down. We're gonna look to grab ourselves a winning battle number three. But I'm kind of hoping he leads to Kyogre. And wanting to go into Water Spots. Because at that point, you know, I'm just going to... I guard it out. Pop a trick room. And I'm gonna get going from there. Get going from there. Let's just see what he does. It really depends on this lead if we pop a trick room or not. So I'm kind of hoping he leads like Latias just so he like, goes for a tailwind, tries to take like full speed control. And then I can just counter up with the trick room and go from there. Because I can ally switch here as well. Let's see. Who are you leading? Who are you leading? Show me the ogre. Ogre Latias? No, Latias and Zassy. Again, I think tailwind is going to come out here. I think tailwind is definitely an option. So I think I'm going to ally switch the trick room. Look at my boy Kingler, yo. I love his movements. Like, look at him with his giant claws one's bigger than the other just doing this pinching a little bit up top <laughs> i love it i love it all right yeah alice switch gotta be your call i'm gonna alice switch here and i'm just gonna pop a trigger i play all day why play all day because i'm hoping tailwind hoping you know zassian hits up on my kingler due to the alley switch and then uh kingler takes a shot for the boys and then we get buzzing with our kyogre after this that could be that could be good that could, we could be thriving with that boy could be thriving with that See how this one plays out. So, Alice Switch coming hot. Go ahead. Just, just drop a Tailwind. Just drop a Tailwind, buddy. Drop a Tailwind. Drop a Tailwind. Behemoth Blade's gonna come in hot. Behemoth Blade coming in hot. Go after Kingler, right? Cool. So, Alice Switch working wonders here. We're able to soak that up. And uh, go for Tailwind here. Please go for Tailwind. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's solid. That is solid. That is solid. That is, that, that is solid as solid gets. This is as solid as solid gets. Here, you know, I'm just going to Dynamax. I'm just going to Flare. Who's actually... Who goes first? That's a real question. Who goes first? I think Kingler goes first, right? Because I can still crap out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kingler's going to go first. And then we have Kyogre. I don't mind changing the weather right now. Due to the fact that... Uh, that uh, Kyogre's just going to come in here and switch again. So I can go here. And I can go... I think I'm going to double down. I don't, I don't really want to double down Sassy. Just in case the Protect wants to fly out here. Ah, tough turns, tough turns, but this is what I'm going to do. Just in case the Protect comes out here. So, solid Trick Room from the boy. Solid Trick Room and solid Alice Switch. That was just great calls right off the rip. Predicting his Tailwind, predicting his Zassy and going into my uh, Mewtwo. Just everything worked out perfectly. Everything worked out perfectly. But now my problem is here. Can my coverage Max Flare take out his Zassy? We are Orbed, which I which I adore. We are Orbed, which is gorgeous. It's just huge. So we'll see how this one plays out here. Hopefully he's not protecting his ass. He is not. That's huge. So Crab Hammer is going to break out here. Chip up a little bit of damage. Was that a crit? It was not a crit. And we are going to take Rocky Helmet damage. Rocky Helmet damage? Who rocks the Rocky Helmet? Flare, take this thing out. Get it out of here. Let's go, Mewtwo. Let's go. Yo, Mewtwo so underrated. I'm loving it. I'm loving him right here. I'm loving him. Look at this. We're, we're looking mad. We're looking real good. Let's see what he does. Let's see what our boy does. He's going to end up going for a second. That's fine. Take out my Crab. Take out my crab. He's just here for support. Cool. Crab dead. Now we bring out my boy. Now we bring out the one and only. I could oh. oh, no. We're bringing out him. We're bringing out Reggie Draco. You guys seen plenty of Kyogre. I was going to bring out Kyogre. 
I was gonna bring out Kyogre, but Reggie Draco? Come on, as her Tailwind and we are Trick Room, he's guaranteed Dragon Moths. He is guaranteed Dragon Moths. And this guy can switch up the weather for me all day. I'll drop a Lightning and a Dragon Maw. Oh my God, we're not a Dragon Maw, Dragon Energy. Oh my God. Just give me the win. These wins are free right now. These wins are free. Look at this, 150 base power. These wins are free. These wins are free right now. Cancel the battle. Actually, don't cancel the battle. I want to I show you guys the damage that we're about to output on this guy. He's going to Dynamax Ogre. Ogre's probably... I don't know if Ogre can survive this. I don't know. Can Ogre survive this Dragon Energy alongside with this Max Lightning? We'll see. We'll see. I know Latias ain't... No, no shot at surviving Dragon Energy. We're just going to tell it to go home now. You know, get, get on out of here. But the best part is that he Tailwind, so we don't have to worry about any of this. He's going to Helping Hand here. That's totally fine. Totally fine. My dragon energy is gonna poke. Latias, go home. Boom. And I actually didn't do as much damage as I wanted to do onto Ogre. So Ogre's definitely gonna be able to eat up this lightning. But still, we're gonna be able to get off a of lightning here. Uh, he Solid damage. Solid damage. And who are you gonna go after? I kinda want him to go after Mewtwo. I kinda want him to go after Mewtwo. Then the next turn, I can just drop another dragon energy. Let's see who he goes after. What are you going after? Hailstorm. Oh, that might be taking out my, my Reggie. Oh, my Reggie, poor Reggie, might actually be able to eat this up. No. <laughs> Helping hand, I forgot about that. Because I'm looking at HP, 275. 275, so he did some work. That's fine. I'm just going to bring back out Kyogre. I think we're thriving here. I think we're sitting in the driver's seat. We're sitting in the driver's seat. Might have one more turn left in Tailwind, which could be tough for us, but still. Kyogre's going to come out here. And we're going to get buzzing. We're going to get rid of this Buffets, too. Let's say AO Buffets. Out my face. Out my face. So let's see who his final Pokemon is. You thought I was final Pokemon, which is going to be this boy right here. That's a little scary. That boy's a little scary right there. That boy's definitely scaring me a little bit. But I know it is faster than uh, Kyogre, which is wonderful. Because Tailwind, I think he has one more turn left. We have two more turns left in Trick Room. He has one more turn left in Tailwind. So we, we could see a double Protect pop out here. But I'm definitely going to Lightning here and try to finish that thing off. And I just think a Water Spell is just... Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to see a double Protect. We might. We might see a double Protect. Yep, there's one Protect. Is he guarding? Please don't guard. Hopefully he's not guarding. He does not guard, so he's dead. He's dead. That's huge. That's GG's. That's GG's, because you're dead here. Yep. And even if he survived that, we had Water Spout going out there. And now we're just sitting pretty. Now we're just sitting pretty, because I know that the Thunderous is faster than my uh my Kyogre. He cannot protect next turn. We still have one more turn left in Trick Room. Get him on out. Get him on out of here. Your boy is thriving with another perfect record for you guys. What a set of battles, too. Especially with this team grabbing a perfect record. Yo, that deserves a like. And if you're not subscribed, you better click that big red subscribe button. A perfect record with this, this squad right here. That's just amazing. We'll pop a side shock here. We'll pop a water spout. I think your opponent just cancels anyway, right? He does not. Oh, wait. He outspeeds me. Thunderbolts are coming hot. Can you beat that? You can indeed. That's fine. That's fine. Because water spouts should be able to do a decent amount of damage. And side shock is going to do, do a good chunk. Look at this, yo. Psyshock coming in. Oh my. Oh my god. That's all we needed, yo. Psyshock is ridiculous. Or size strike. It's ridiculous. But there it is. Perfect record for you guys. I'm just as surprised as you guys are. I can't believe I grabbed myself a perfect record with this team. And we got to show up every single Pokemon, which was absolutely amazing. Mewtwo was definitely MVP. Ripped through everything. Kingler and Indeedy were great on support side. Reggie Draco got some love. Kyogre did some work. And Zoruk was in the battle as well. Gotta love it. You gotta love it. But guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.